Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I do hope that you all are doing good. So now in this video, we're going to talk about market structure. Now what we are going to talk today, if you understand this, this will make a trading journey a whole lot easier because you never want to trade against what the what the asset is doing actually. Okay? You don't want to go against them. You want to trade with them. So you have heard of this term maybe in trading. The trend is your friend. You must have heard this line. Okay. So basically we're going to understand what do we mean by confluences, confluences of the market. So now what I'm going to teach today, what I'm going to tell today to you all is like, it's not necessary. It's not necessary that it works in Forex or Indian market. It's not restricted. If you understand this, basically it will paint a picture all across the chart because commodities, anything if you want to trade, if you understand this, this will help you. I'm not going to dive deep, deep into it because every market moves a little different. Yeah, so I passed phase one. I can show you guys. So this certificate is to presented by funding to technology that trader require sufficient trading skills and accordingly passed phase one. Basically, what I read was like only one percent of the traders pass phase one also. So I'm not saying I'm just passing phase one. I'll pass phase two also and I'll pass everything. Don't worry about that. I'll just come with the results and show you guys. मैं ये कर रहा हूँ क्योंकि ना मेरा आदत है वैन आई फील लाइक इट द वॉइस शुड कम फ्रॉम विद इन मी आई बिन डूइंग दिस थिंग फॉर पास्ट वन ईयर फॉर एक्सपो मैंने अभी भी स्टार्ट किया था बट अंदर से आवाज़ आती है मेरी ओके इट्स टाइम टू थ्रो दिस दिस ऑन यूट्यूब सो लाइक अदर पीपल कैन वॉच इट बिकॉज माई गोल इज नॉट टू गेट व्यूज और लाइक गेट मिलियंस ऑफ सब्सक्राइबर्स एंड ऑल इवेंचुअली एवरी थिंग विल हैपन बट इट्स लाइक Just give the content, okay? If it's helping ten, fifteen people, also that's it. I just want to leave a mark on YouTube that I was there and I am here. So we are going to talk about market structures today. So this will be our heading. So now in market structure, we know, okay? Let's crop all these pairs. Okay, market structure. Close this volume, okay? So now I have my display. Yeah. So market, you must have all heard, okay? You basically know that the market moves like in steps. This is what we call a This is called a bullish the market is heading upward so this is an uptrend and this is basically a downtrend Okay so this is a market structure basically is so here we call this bullish and here we call this bearish because we're heading down we are bear bullish bearish everybody knows that so this is bearish and this is bullish so now in this understand let's understand this thing so now the market must it's not possible for a price okay to move up continuously like this for the price to move up from one place to the other suppose this is our area 1 and suppose this is our area 2 okay so now for and i put one more area suppose and this is our area 3 so now for the price to move in this three places it will never suppose the price is over here it will never cross like go if it it has to go till here okay suppose let's understand the price has to go till here So now the price will never go like this. It can never reach this place like this. If it reaches this place like this, like how 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 it's never possible. Then everybody will be profitable. The game comes when the market shifts down. So first the price will go here. It went up till here. Then it will come here. Test this zone. Support this is a support area or something. Then it will go up. Then it will come down. Then it will go up. Then it will come down. Then it will go up. So basically, this is how the market moves. So the market to move. Now, now this can happen in the opposite side also. If I just invert this chart, invert scale. See, this is now at a bearish trend. Any side, the market cannot move either side without giving us a pullback. It must give a pullback to keep. heading to the upside without this thing without this without this this area the market can never move 
the market will never move straight okay so now let's clear this So this is how it happens. So now there are a few things which I want you to learn. This is like the market moves like this. So it can come till here and this place every time you come this place is called a structure point. See the market reversed from here. See the market reversed from here. So this is called structure point. It is not an area of support or resistance but it was a previous structure point. So whenever I say previous structure point I mean these, this, this area. So Basically what we'll do is we'll cross this area into two pieces one this and one this okay now we'll name this as weekly now we'll name this as daily now we'll name this as 4 hour and this as 15 minute okay so now when we take this we need to understand okay suppose the weekly is like this this is the weekly so now when we go on the daily we'll focus on this much area only let's suppose we're focusing on this much area okay so so for the weekly when you shift to the daily the time frame will look like this the week for the daily for the weekly to move like this, the daily will move like this. You understand? But this is going to be a little like intense. So listen carefully. So this is how it is going to head down. So now it came till here. So now we have reached this point. Let's go. We have reached this point. And now this price is this point. Now now to have the pullback, the weekly is what? It has done, has not broken this previous structure point, right? This is our previous structure point, this one. So we have not broken this period. The price has not come down here and it has not broken this place. So that means we are bullish on the weekly. That means we are bullish. Still we are bullish. If the price stays between this place, this range, okay. Tools and to understand how to tools. Okay, Let's understand this. Okay, if the price stays between here till here, and this is the price, the price does not come below this breaks and comes below this line. It does not do like this. The, till then it is bullish. But now let's understand on the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, we have reached this area. So now for the daily to have a retracement. Okay, so now the daily the for weekly to have the retracement. Retracement is called the zone which is coming back. This is retracement basically. Okay, this is called retracement. So when price comes here, uh, when price comes here, it goes up and this this pullback we can call this pullback or retracement. So this is what basically it is. So this is called. So now for the weekly to go have the retracement, the daily must go bearish. And what do I mean by bearish? There will occur a break of structure. Now what we call break of structure. So now suppose this was our price. We come till here. Now we have reached this point. Now the daily will break the previous structure point. You see this is the previous structure point. So instead of supporting this, this will break and close over here. So now we have gone bearish on the daily but not on the weekly. So that means one of our time frames is against us. Okay, so now this is it. So now it came. So now this place we will call this place on the weekly will look like this. So the weekly area is this and the daily area is this. Okay, so what do we understand from this? Weekly we are still bullish on the higher time frame, but on the lower time frame, on the daily time frame, we have shifted bearish okay i'll write this down so this is basically it now i can consider the exactly the same scenario now now what the same scenario is now for the daily okay suppose this is the daily and now we'll focus only on this much of the daily part okay now for the daily to have the uh, move and the pullback the four hour will look kind of like this this is 
the four hour okay so now on the four hour we have reached this area so now for the four hour now for the daily to have the pullback the four hour will go bearish okay now break of structure this 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 now the daily has had this pullback so what do you understand by this now this place this place is this place on the daily okay so now this will move off the four hour will be the first time frame to shift up and now this will create again start creating higher highs and higher lows and now we have reached this area on the daily this area okay this area so now for again to have us this retracement the four hour will go bearish so this is basically it so so i do hope that you understand what i'm trying to say so this is some people call it the fractality of the market also and i don't know how well did i explain this but in upcoming videos now like the more you talk about this you'll understand you need to understand how the market is moving so this is why it is so hard because people are like okay the market is bullish they'll enter a certain point the market is bullish let's go long but you have to understand the price is at a very extreme high on the weekly now you can't go bullish on the daily because the price is already high on the weekly now if you go long over there the weekly will have a retracement and there will be a break of structure and you'll be like as soon as i enter the market the market changes its trend it's not that you are not considering the higher time frames that's what basically majority of the traders are doing wrong is so you understand one thing okay i am doing forex now i am telling you it's not easy people here have been struggling for 3 years 4 years 5 years 6 years it's all there it it takes time it takes time i'm telling you it doesn't take time it's just that you don't have the right guy always get a good mentor i have, i am i'm always telling this on focus always get someone who has already mastered in the thing that you are doing to do or you are interested in doing because having a great mentor or a good mentor you, it can be a book it can be anything it doesn't have to be a person it has it will help you so much it will save so much of your time because if i would have been figuring this thing by myself it would have been taken me 2 3 years to understand okay so i have to consider this consider you read this book okay if you read this book you'll understand i finished this book in like 3 days so my reading speed is also going up so this book you have to read robert green the concept law of mastery so if you want to master it anything you have to read this book this book will help you and let, let you understand like what i mean by saying get a master or something so now passing my first funded account i passed phase 1 and listen people have blown 20 25 30 plus accounts and still they are not funded if i say why i passed phase 1 yes let's go so i'll be happy i don't want to be happy if i become happy i'll be comfortable so unhappiness is uncomfortable for me so i'll work harder so that's why i'm not like phase 1 pass ho chuka yes no like wow well, we passed phase 1 we have passed phase 2 we'll go through this this step and step and people are congratulating me because people who really know what it takes to pass a funded challenge i hit a 1 is to 5 rr 1 is to 5 risk to reward ratio trade right? so like that's like insane whatever i'm teaching right now i'm going, i i have full faith in this i have back tested this i have put more than 10 12 hours for the past 50 days i have been going through the charts i have time for nobody i i i just in this room studying 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 charts 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 because i promised my dad i'll crack this i have to crack this because i'll never go back home as a failure because that's not what i am it's better to die than go back home as a failure for me at least i don't know for other people understand this this is weekly chart this is daily chart and this is the 4 hour chart so what the beauty is now If we go to the 15 minute chart this will also have more noise so this is full noise this is forget this this is trash 15 minutes will not focus because this will be too much for right now to understand but let's understand the simplest things for the weekly to go bullish you don't want to go long here because understand this this is the place we have reached on the daily time frame and this is a weekly time frame weekly had reached a point and now it must have a pullback to continue its uptrend but what you decided you will take a long position 
this is a short position okay this is a long position you enter here you place the stop loss below yeah you place the stop loss below this previous below your previous structure point and you go on long on this so what price will do basically it come hit your stop loss and then it went down and you're like oh it was up trend till here and as as soon as i enter the market it went bearish so the market is against me it's not like that you just have to understand this 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 thing this thing they'll charge so much just to teach you nobody will teach you this this is called people call it fractality of the market or something like that also but this is it basically for the higher time frame now i'm going to sum up the entire video this is it now remember you never want to take a trade when two of your time frames are not minimum in sync for a longer trade i will suggest this but suppose a weekly is bearish so now you see here two time frames are in sync daily is bullish 4 hour is bullish weekly is bearish so at least two time frames you have in sync this you have in sync correct and this you have in sync so now regarding these two you can go for a day trade forget day trade and all okay like this is forex this is what i taught you is like basically forex thingy but this you can apply in the indian market also let's focus on this part only in weekly it moved as a rally you see i'll change the weekly color to understand this focus on this area only okay let's focus on this part only this is uh, it okay so see here the weekly went straight up it's going straight like it's, it's showing that it, the price is moving straight up but the daily cannot move straight up like that you see the daily has come like this then it had a pull back then it went up then it had a pull back then it went up so they, this this is it this is the optimal trading scenario here you have weekly heading towards a new higher high and on the pull backs is what you will always look to enter your trade it's in indian stock market or daily or like whatever whatever instrument you are trading on the pull backs is where you look to enter the trades you never enters blindly here on the highs because that will hit your current hit your stop loss you will try to always have your have it like this your stop loss is like this and your take profit is bigger as big as possible okay so tighter stop loss and a bigger tp so that is what my goal is always so i hope this is a clear example of what i just taught you what i just explained so the market to continue its uptrend it must have a pullback and it's going coming down going down now when this market when the weekly decides to have a pullback the daily will go like this will come it will break the structure the daily will have a pullback okay for the weekly to have a pullback the daily will go bearish and for the daily to have a pullback the 4 hour will go bearish and the 4 hour to have a pullback the 15 minute will go bearish okay so this is basically it understanding where are we in the move on a higher time frame so this is extremely like it it took me like time to gulp up the whole concept because it's so confusing bullish bearish kya ho raha hai kuch samajh nahi aa raha tha मैं वीडियो में बोलता हूँ ना एक जगह भी क्या हो क्या रहा है ये सब कि बुलिश हो रहा है बेरिश हो रहा है ऊपर जा रहा है नीचे आ रहा है क्या है ये बट आई काइंड ऑफ से आई कैन फिगर इट आउट बिकॉज दैट्स हाउ दैट्स वाई आई पास माई फेस वन नाउ लेट्स गो आई डू होप दैट यू अंडरस्टूड दिस नाउ दिस इज लाइक आई टीचिंग बेसिक मार्केट थिंग ओके दिस इज नॉट मार्केट स्पेसिफिक थिंग सो दिस इज मच इट फॉर दिस वीडियो आई डू होप it's uh, you understood what i was trying to teach you on next video i'll teach you the markings okay to understand or I'll, i'll figure it out so this is it for this video i do hope that you learned something from this video and you hope and grow and try and test it out and if you is not clear i'll make again a video on the same topic explaining if you have questions just dm me i'll explain this whole entire topic again also because i know this is something hard to help down uh let's go uh, i'll end the video over here 
till then keep lifting keep grinding see you in the next video and gym and all videos i will start shooting again ki gym mein kya ho chuka na i just go to the gym rush two hours training ya fir jo bhi jitna bhi training hota hai get as much training as i could can like in the in a quick period of time abhi main travel bhi karke apne purane gym mein nahi ja raha hu because traveling time is also time restriction so it's like the more i'm in front of this i feel like the more i'm going i'm i'm, I'm going up 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 it's not that i didn't have failures and all like i lost like four five trades but i won like five six seven trades but my risk whenever i lost i lost only 50 dollars whenever i won i won like 200 300 400 dollars so it's just like your risk to reward ratio must and your risk management should be correct that is the key to forex so now in this video what i taught you is like this is the overall specific scenario it's not forex or it's not indian market i'm repeating this again and again don't confuse yourself so i don't know what kind of channel like i'm going to take this but this is good channel is going to be finance it's not going to be forex specific or indian market specific because i am indian market maybe whom i but the thing with indian market is the way i trade it's not something like i know for a fact okay like it's not possible for someone to have a one cr capital right not 10 lakh capital straight up from in college so forex is something which i'll put more focus once i get see more success in forex but indian market is going good it's like on the side it's 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 wo to hai okay it's very simple indian market is very simple you basically if you don't have your own funds you cannot do anything on indian market and 19% of the people don't have their own funds so forex is the only possible way because if you're a good if you master the skill you can get funded that's the best part about this whole thing so even not for me i'm doing it for uh, like i just it's just confused me because every time i come to go to a person and say bhai you can start trading and you can really do good in it and like i'm doing good but they simply tell me one thing or oh, you have funds you have the funds funds bhai tere paas you can do it and like you think having funds it resonates to a being a good trader i am a good trader i am profitable because i know trading not because i have huge funds theek hai so this this shit hits me when I, the people tell me muscles don't win fights so i went and fought so i went and learned fighting now i'm a mma fighter i fought fights i'm going to fight more fights the only thing is that my category guys are not there so now i do it's just that i cannot reply with my mouth i don't like replying with my mouth it's just that you'll see time and time again i'll come back i'll always come back i'll come back and you'll see me he did it again i'll never give up even if i fall 100 times i'll get up for the 101th time okay so i love my mentality you can read this book can't hurt me so david goggins is someone is like really i i try to copy his mentality only like can't hurt me if you can break the someone na in front it's like you can get their soul if you read this book you'll understand so i'm not going to make this video a motivational video but people have told me when i do motivational kind of speaking they like they they love it so yeah that's it for this video till then keep lifting keep grinding see you guys in the next video bye bye